Hey guys, Mike here. Um, just got done playing with one of the 40 RPSs. For those of you that don't know, that's the uh, redundant power supply, if you will. And while playing with it and testing fell over and things like that, we noticed something was amiss, right? So if you basically Fortinet's documentation, unless I'm just completely wrong, is uh, incorrect. It doesn't function the way it says it will. So, right here, this is a drawing of what the Fortinet documentation tells you to do. Now if you look here, you have a power supply on the left, you have a power supply on the right, and then you have basically four ports across the 40 RPS uh, backplane. And if you follow their documentation, it tells you to, you know, one and two, the, the picture does. And most people only look at the picture, they don't read the instructions, right? It tells you to use ports one and two of the 40 RPS, which I consider these two right here to be ports one and two, to go to your Forda DDoS device. And, and these two ports, three and four, to go to your Forda gate. So I'm letting you know that I tested this. If you do that and unplug the left, let's say you have a 40 DDoS and it's plugged into ports 1 and 2. You're humming along, you think you have HA, highly redundant power. If you unplug this left one, this left power cable here, both of these ports go down, which means your 40 DDoS is down. Same thing. If you have your 40 gate plugged in, just ports 3 and 4 here, I'll be damned if when you unplug the right power supply, you don't lose that whole device. And basically, in order to fix this, you need to switch these two middle ones. So, let's say you have two, you know, HA forty gates, and you want their power to be HA. You plug, maybe you plug forty gate one into power one, and forty gate two onto this dongle two. You switch these inside ones, so the cable that goes to your forty gate one will plug into ports one and three of the RPS and then the cable that goes to FortiGate 2 will plug into ports 2 and 4 and then lo and behold you're able to lose your um, one of the power cables and not lose one of your devices which means it will actually do what it's supposed to do so it's a little sloppy of Fortinet um, this is what came with it I haven't checked to see if they have a revised version that happens to be out all I know is this is what came with the damn device and it's not right. So, just a heads up, I thought you guys might like to know that. Um, if you guys have other experiences with a 40 RPS, maybe my documentation was wrong, maybe, uh, you know, maybe my experience was different from yours, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Uh, please post below, let me know. Otherwise, you know, user beware. Don't think that you have highly redundant power if you have it cabled the way this picture says. And uh, happy uh, Fortinetting, you know, Forta whatevering, whatever you're doing. Have a good night.